right, joining us now is the RNC chairman. Ryan Priebus is with us. All right, thoughts on tonight? Well, I thought that Donald Trump did a great job. Uh, he clearly won the debate. Uh, but I thought he was, what he really did well is he, and every question, he pivoted back to Hillary. He made the case for himself. But then he asked a, a big question tonight. Look, you've got all these ideas. You've got all these plans. You've been in office for 30 years. And it, and you didn't do it. I mean, whether it was about the taxes that she, that, you know, she's talking about tax loopholes. I think he did a great job on that question. I think on, on talking about Libya, Benghazi, um, all of the, the, the fact Syria, that emails, Iraq, her emails. I mean, you just go yeah. on and on and on. The fact is, what he did tonight, I thought, very well, was prosecuting Hillary Clinton and the fact that she's been in the public for 30 years and it hasn't worked. I also would argue that this was more about substance in a lot of ways, because he still talked about immigration. He talked about vetting refugees. They talked about Syria, Iraq, Benghazi, uh, foreign policy, Putin, Russia. So I felt like, and the economy, as you point out. So I think a lot of substance came in here. And I also feel like he did something he didn't do in the last debate. And that is, he he decided to hit back. She's been dumping the can sink. Kane's been dumping the kitchen sink. What did you feel about that? No, I, I thought that was the whole point, is that he wasn't going to just sit there and just defend every single charge coming his way. Look, as we've said many times, she memorizes a litany of accusations, one after the next. And she memorizes them. She does it with pretty good skill. But the fact that she couldn't remember when the FBI interviewed her about something actually important, 39 times she said she didn't recall, yet she can recall every tiny grievance that ever came out of Donald Trump's mouth over 24 years. Let's face it, he's lived an extraordinary life. <laughs> and some of it, I'm sure, is pretty wild. But he was a private citizen. She was in she was in the public eye, and she did things that were inexcusable. On the in many times illegal. And on the and he said that, and he said he'd prosecute that. So now the American people are going to have a real choice. As I've been saying for a long time, this is a choice election, and there are big issues in play here. On the issue that everybody was talking about coming into tonight, and that is a tape from 11 years ago. He did point out, apologized, said he was embarrassed, said it a number of times, but he also brought up. Some some really horrible behavior by the Clintons. Um, it seemed like he was reluctant, but he did it in the end. Smart? Well, I think you have to. Obviously, there's nothing to say good about that tape. I mean, I've got nothing good to say about it, of course, and it's terrible. Um, and I think but there's nothing good about their behavior, is there? That's right. That's right. That's right. But their behavior doesn't excuse. No, I'm not saying it does. But. Right. I know. I know. So the point is, I think he did what he had to do in regard to the tape. Um, but look, it's something like he said that he was embarrassed by, that he apologizes for. He apologized to his family. He apologized to the American people. Um, he was ashamed. Um, look, I, I, I'm, I think that what this race has to be about things that really, really matter, uh, which is foreign policy, jobs, the economy, economy yeah. and the fact that Hillary Clinton has had her kick at the can many, many times on these issues, yeah. and she didn't deliver. Look, I can't say much about the, the, you know, good about any of that tape stuff. You know that. But I do think that he did a great job of prosecuting Hillary Clinton and coming back time and time again. All right, Mr. Chairman, good to see you. Thank you so much, as always. We appreciate it. Thank you.